So welcome to day two of the advanced technique week where uh, Jaap learns to properly shoot a recurve bow. Um, yeah, well, we can at least try. Um, we're gonna talk about pre-shot routine and focus points. Um, actually, for me, it's uh, quite simple. Um, you have to keep it simple. Don't uh, make it too difficult for yourself. Don't give yourself 10 cues every shot. Uh, but uh, look for something that's easy to remember and uh, don't try to do everything at once. So um, with Jaap, um, Jaap likes to uh, start off with uh, where he's standing, uh, which is what we talked about yesterday. So make sure that the stance is correct and then work your, work your way up. So uh, from the feet to the knees to the hips. So make sure you're uh, standing okay and then uh, we're gonna start shooting. So, uh, Jaap, if you, uh, if you may. So, um, important is your shot begins here. So, uh, the arrow is loaded, you have your bow in your hand. Uh, you can, as a mental cue, the moment you shift your weight to the front of your feet, because you're not always standing on the front of your feet, the moment you shift your weight is actually when you start focusing the most. So now he shifted his weight, and this is the moment he's in the shot and he's not bothered anymore by what's happening around him. So. The reason you want to do this is that you cannot be focused the whole day and the whole competition throughout. So it's good to have uh, little moments of focus so you don't tire yourself mentally and uh, so you can focus better on the moments that you actually are focused. Um, so that's the first pointer I want to give you up. So uh, the, the fact that if you shift your weight, that's when you start the shot and you're not uh, paying attention to what happens around you too much. And then, obviously, when you shift your weight, you want to pay attention to where your hand is in the grip and where your hand is on the string, because that's the two contact points you have with your bow, so they're extremely important. So um, the hand in the grip needs to be relaxed, um, and every time it has to be the same, so it has to be a consistent thing. Uh, Jaap is shooting one of my grips right now, um, and I made it specifically to my hand, so if I put my hand in it in a relaxed manner, it will sit the same way every time. So. Then with his right hand, he's going to make a nice hook, which is something we are gonna talk about with the release part of this week. Um, and it needs to be a relaxed hook uh, with just enough tension to hold the string and you don't want to completely grab it. So, uh, yeah. Shifting the weight, hand is relaxed in the grip, hand is relaxed on the string. And then there's a couple mental cues that you can have when you're in anchor. So this was quite a long shot. Um, I guess Jaap was, uh, yeah, Jaap was listening to, uh, to me and uh, waiting if I would say anything, uh, anything else. But uh, usually when you go to anchor, there is a certain mental note or focus point you give yourself to uh, start working or to keep working because the whole shot should be one smooth motion, I think. Um, so don't make it too difficult. Don't say, okay, here I'm going to use this muscle and here this muscle and then this muscle and then this muscle, but make it a smooth motion until you get to your anchor point. And when you're at your anchor point, make sure that you go through the clicker in the way that you want to go to the clicker. Um, uh, my preferred way is to put your shoulders in line and slowly uh, get more length in your shot by simply doing this, so that you don't have to change anything to your arm or your arm and uh, have a relaxed shot. So, um, yeah. Go ahead and uh, shoot.
shoot another one if you, uh, if you will. So a uh, quick step plan. Uh, shift your weight forward. Put your hands in the proper way. Pull back your bow without thinking too much. And then when you're in anchor, go to your back muscles and go through the clicker. Basically, uh, that's it. You don't want to make it too difficult and uh, keeping it simple will uh, pay, pay off, I think. So the conclusion of this all is to keep it simple, come up with some simple uh, cues or simple uh, focus words for yourself, some key words to think about, and um, remind yourself that the cues don't always have to be the same cues. You can change them to whatever you might think is necessary on the day. Remember that you cannot control everything in the shot, every shot. So uh, sometimes things have to go automatically and uh, you have to focus on one thing or maybe a couple things, but not everything at once because that will just make it more difficult. So uh, thanks for watching this one. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back with another video about uh, drawing back and aiming. So uh, see you around for that one.